Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, get started heating this up. Everything is cold. And remember with your heat gun that you want to make sure you have a place ready to lay that gun down. Uh, so, because no matter what it touches, it's going to burn. Okay. And uh, maybe we can see that stopwatch over here going. I don't know. That's not going to work too good. Maybe. me. Yeah, I can see it a little bit there. Okay. So... <clears throat> you can uh, we're gonna get started here so turn your this is also with this heat gun on high and uh, we're gonna, hopefully that's not too noisy for you so we've got this going I'm gonna start the, the clock and let's see what it takes to get this thing going what I'm gonna try to do is talk up on the first couple minutes and uh, the last couple minutes and then during the center I'll make it go fast forward uh, that's the plan anyhow so you see I'm moving around I'm fairly close and I'm on the finished side of the kydex and I'm moving around I'm keeping this going the air is directed really straight down Okay, I can see it's already starting to spring a little bit, you see, that means it's getting to temperature. I don't want to stay on this side too long, but remember we have to heat both sides and try to drive that temperature in from both sides. That really is the best way. Okay, we're starting to get up here, I'll pick it up, you can see I'm starting to be able to bend it. Couldn't do that before. Okay, well, I'm going to go to this side. This is the back side, and uh, it'll get. See, it's laying down there. See, now it'll get nice and warm, and it can get pretty hot. And if this side starts to get more sheen to it, you'll never know, and it doesn't matter. So, if you got to push heat into your Kydex, push it from the back side. If you're trying to let it soak. You want to do both sides. Now we're getting more flexible. You see how that's working. I'm going to keep flipping it back and forth. I'm going to do this, you know, a couple, three times. And, and I'm not losing my heat by having my gun shoot like this. If I'm shooting like this, the heat's going and bouncing off. So I want to keep that going straight down because I want heat absorption. Now, if you were trying to heat something on this side, and not this side, then you would want to bounce your heat off. There's times when you have a finished product, you will do that. Okay, see now how floppy that is? That's not floppy enough. Okay, this is uh, coming together pretty good here. And I have a really nice warm shop today. It's been, you know, 20 and 25 and 28 below zero. It looks like I'm going to be able to possibly get this one done in about four minutes for what I want. Uh, typically I'm seeing more like six minutes. However, we're going to look at the temperature because we need the soak, uh, the temperature soak. I'm back on the finish side. And I know you can't see this in the picture in the video but the edge where we've had some cutting going on you can see that stuff starting to melt a little bit just go back so used to it now I want to add a little piece of element come out and land on there that's funny okay I want to go back to the other side now now I'm going to be pushing some heat into this because uh, we're going to go for the flop we're going to go for the floppy test And this is just trial and error. And it's starting to raise in the middle here a little bit. I can see the sheen change a little bit there. That's good. That means I need to get on these edges. I'm starting to get a lot more glossy. 
overall, I don't know if you can see the glossiness starting to change. Yeah, now we're starting to see more action on the edges. This one's starting to actually lift a little bit because of the heat in it. It's starting to also spread a little bit. This corner's pushing out a little. So we're getting pretty close. And uh, let's just take the time right now to rip it off of here and do a temperature test and see what it, how it flops in my hand. Last pass. Turn it off, lay it down. Okay, that's a pretty good flop. And but you see, we're only, excuse me, we're only about 240 degrees. But you see how it's flopping? And, you know, you might get, uh, you, you could, you'd probably get a press out of that would be decent. But I would like for it to be up higher. So, back with the heat. And I'm using this orange piece here because I really wouldn't make a knife sheath out of it. And uh, I want to use it as a scrap piece to show this heating. I'm back on the front again. Now we've hit five minutes. Take a little time away for the test. I did have this so uh, the other day I was playing with this and I did get it up to 324 which would have been sweet. I'm a little bit closer and moving. I want that heat. I want to shoot that heat in there. This side I don't have to worry as much about because remember I can't like wreck this finish on this side. Look right here. I see how that's really starting to curl up there on that edge. Can you see that? That's hot. Okay, I'm going to go for the temperature gun again. I would say you could, you could press that. Yeah, but you see we're still only about 265. And we hit six minutes. Well, what I'm going to do is uh, we don't need to keep working this all the way up to 325. It's just going to take time. And uh, I've shown you pretty much what it is, what's going to happen here. So we'll just cut this off and we'll actually go to heating up the piece. I don't know. that. I, I might just try one more time here. Just one more. Going over it really slow. Really packing the heat to it. You no, know, that end's really curling. That's a good sign. That's a really good sign. See how that end's rolling up over here. That means that thing is hot. Remember, gloves. Don't try to do it with a cotton, little cotton glove. Oh, nice flop. See how that just flops? Okay, well, we were up at 280, 283. And uh, you, could, you could take that and you could, press, you could press a knife in there. I can even do a little bit of shape just with my hand. But I won't entertain you with that. Usually when you start trying to entertain people, you mess up. <laughs> okay. That's the process that you'll continually go through to get it up to a temperature. But you see, when I held it up like this, and it really, right now it's cooling off, and that would, you know, but it really came down here and formed around my fingers good. You know, really good. Uh, you could, you, you can press with that. You probably won't have the temperature you think. And then when you got yourself an oven and you start using the temperatures, like a manufacturer suggests, or I suggest, you will really see a change in your form, your pressing. Okay, that'll be it for now. Let's take and uh, we'll move into actually doing it. Time to set the camera up again. Bye.